What's good, YouTube? Everyone, I'm two here, back again, and once again, today, people, today, we're here for episode number 24 of our Pokemon Emerald Really Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, we made our way here to Lily Cove. I almost said Evergreen. I don't know why. What game has Evergreen City in it? Is that a thing? Why does it sound so familiar? I don't know. I'm spacing it. I just woke up from a nap. I'll explain all that stuff later, so that could be why. And in before someone makes a nap, nappy joke. Ha 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 ha. Never been done before. You sir get a gold star for being original. Anyways, we're here for episode 24 for Emerald Really Randomized Nuzlocke. Last episode, no matter where, Lily Cove City got a crazy butt fuck ton a number of encounters. Uh, and today, I think we're gonna head to Mount Pyre. Uh, with the ghouls and goblins and spooks and spirits and whatnot, and go get spooked because some gang activity is going down. You know, we can't have any of that. So, if you guys are hyped for today's episode and want to show you support, make sure to like button down below for us. And let's get a quick team recap for you guys. That is easily the longest introduction that I've done. I'm rolling over my freaking controller cord. Uh, but up first, we have Daisy, our Raikou, our bug type, Arena Trap, Quiet Nature Raikou, holding the Mystic Guard to pop that Water Pulse, also Rocking Confusion, Bite, and Spike Cannon. We have Shalonda, our Rock type, Magnapole, Hardy Natured, Latios, level 41, holding the Mystic Guard to pop that Surf, straight Water Gang in the building between uh, Daisy and Shalonda. She's got Surf, Earthquake, Psybeam, and Heat Wave. We have Claretta, our All Seeing Grass type, Early Bird, Adamant Natured, Zatu, level 40, holding the Armor of the Coin because she's about that money, that paper, rocking Leaf Play, Single Beam, Blizzard, and Fly. And we have Hong, our third Hokage, the Ice type, Wonder Guard, Jolly Nature, Drowsy, level 40, holding the Everstone because we don't want him to evolve. Well, some of you do. The not my Hokage squad wants to evolve. Rocket Drill Pack, Earthquake, Thunder Punch, and Blizzard. Then we have Domatilla the Wall, our Water Poison, Magma Armor, Serious Nature, Level 40, Dugong, holding the leftovers. Look at them Tifas. Look at them Tifas. She be nomin on all your leftovers. Rocket Serve, Extra Sensory, Leaf Blade, and Cosmic Power. And then last but not least, we have Martina the Shuckle, Water Poison, Modest Nature, Quick Claw, Dragon Breath, Sweet Kiss. You know what? Let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Martina's got to. She's got to get the boot. She's got to get the boot. She's got to go. She's got to go. She's water poison, so it really makes no difference who we add to the squad. A lot of you guys say that this is the reincarnation of Hi, the Avatar. Uh, so a lot of you guys said to add Shanika as well, because Shanika gets rid of our ground type weakness. I don't know who we should add. I don't know who we should add. I really don't know who we should add. We could add Penny as well. Uh, but I think Shanika has a better moveset right now. Yeah, Shanika does definitely has a better moveset. But we could just add a freaking Rayquaza to the squad, dude. I think we're gonna scoop up Shanika for right now. For right now, we're gonna scoop up Shanika. And I'm sorry, but you guys to hit the PC. Martina, you served the squad well for a very long time. For a very, very long time, you serve the squad well, and your sacrifice will not be in vain. But at the end of the day, you are a shuckle, and I just can't, I just can't right now, dude. I just can't right now. I ain't got the time, I ain't got the patience. What is, what is our, what is our Flareon's name? Shanika. <laughs> Shanika. I gotta jot down the names or else I will not remember them. But we are gonna give Shanika the experience here because Shanika only level 26 so we are taking a risk here my controller cord is being an absolute fuckwad right now and it's pissing me off we are taking a risk with Shanika right now because Shanika is not leveled up appropriately over the rest of the squad but we'll see what ends up happening we can still get a Lily Cove encounter I remember we did not get that in the last episode either but like I said we need to go and handle some ghosts and ghouls and goblins and spooky shit over here yeah excuse me let me slide on down here actually I want to go to the top of Mount Pyre yo two different ways to get to the top of Mount Pyre two ways two ways excuse me I want to go to the top of Mount Pyre normally and then outside but then there's a whole bunch of battles inside but I want to see what's at the top of the tower there could be something good bro this is spooky no 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 I'm spooked I don't want to do that I don't want to do that because if anything I can save that for, for grinding Cause that's literally a whole tower full of mons that I can run against. Gotta be smart. Smarter than the average freaking bear, bro. Smarter than the average freaking bear, bro. But like I said in the last episode, we could have saved our Mount Pyre encounter for out here. 
Oh, we don't have Machop. Because there's different encounters out here than there is in there, but it's still considered all just Mount Pyre. So, rip a Rooney. Rip a freaking Rooney. Excuse me. Milk drink. Oh, what a useless TM. If we weren't doing a Nuzlocke, I would actually consider it. Actually, you know what? No, it's not. Outside of outside of Wi-Fi battles, those moves are completely useless. It's completely useless. Like, you could click Milk Drink, right? Well, I won't say it's completely useless. Because I was going to say, I've, I think I've, I've spoken about this in Let's Plays before. In the turn that you take to click Milk Drink, Milk Drink only does what? Where to go? Half the user's maximum HP. In that exact same turn, you could click a Hyper Potion or Full Restore and restore all of your HP. So it just comes down to how you want to see it. Like, if you didn't have money or you got stuck in a situation, like, yo, throw back to Naturia. Remember when we went to that last gym in Naturia before we got body? I won't, well, I was going to say I won't spoil it and then I immediately spoil it. But we couldn't use potions in that gym. Like, that would have been useful then. That's why I say it's useful in like Wi Fi battles. Like, Mil Mil Tank runs Milk Drink all the time in Wi Fi if you use Mil Tank. But, we're not doing Wi Fi, so it really doesn't. Mute point is mute. Mute point is mute. But I want to see what items are over here because we've gotten lucky with two Master Balls so far. So I wouldn't put it past the game. Oh! Close. Close, but not quite. Yeah, walk away from that side. I want to go look over there. Come here, bro. Is that a fucking Latias? Think I give a shit about your Latias? Eat dick. Excuse me. Goodbye, Jacqueline. That nigga had a Latias and just got destroyed. That's sad. That is sad. Yo. Again, throwback. I was gonna say I talked about that before too, but anyone remember from that? Oh, whoa, ho, 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 ho. I'm about to trigger so many people. What was the movie with Latios and Latias? Pokemon Heroes. Was that the name of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't the Ranger. No, the Ranger movie had it was Manaphy in the Temple of the Sea or some shit like that. But whatever movie had Latios and Latias with it, terrible movie. Terrible fucking movie. Absolutely atrocious movie. Or as Numb Nexus would say, bottom tier film. Bottom tier Pokemon film. It was entertaining, I'll give you that. Oh shit. How convenient is it that we're fighting Team Aqua and Water Gang's about to blow them the fuck back? Yo, Water Gang, let's do it. Look at these fucking children on the screen. And they're suffering. And they're fucking suffering. Bro, I'll do it again. And they're suffering. Yo, this Nidoran. Oh my god, Daisy. Don't worry, Shalanda got you. Shalanda straight got you. Shalanda straight got you, Daisy. Don't don't stress. Don't worry. Don't stress. Don't worry. And I got you with this fucking free healthcare. Uh, do I got you? Yo, I. This is one of those moments where like you have a flashback, and I I specifically remember saying like I'm not gonna buy ice seals. When the fuck do you ever get frozen? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to go over... There we go. Burn. Hold, defrost. Yeah. How many of y'all niggas knew that an Asperger Berry does that? Arg! A team Magma's Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The Red Orb preserved at Mount Pyre. I, Archie, now have it in my possession. <laughs> now we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. Oh no, this cannot happen. Not only the blue orb, but even the red orb has been taken. The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong, they belong together. Oh, don't talk to me when the sun goes down. Sorry. The red and blue orb belong together. <laughs> what are those men trying to do with those two orbs? Oh yes, was it Team Magma who came and took the blue orb first? Well, in their haste, they left this behind. I couldn't imagine what exactly it could be. I'd like you to have it. Perhaps it'll be useful in some way. The Magma Emblem. Don't they give you, like in Ruby and Sapphire, they give you the other orb here? So in Emerald, they change the story so that both teams take the opposite orbs. Mount Pyre is where we calm the spirits of Pokemon that have passed on. This is a high place where one can see all of Owen. The disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find solace here. It is coincidence that you are here. We are my tale, a tale long told in the Owen region. 
It happened long, long ago. The world was wracked by a ferocious clash between the Pokemon of the land and the Pokemon of the sea. The Pokemon of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in massive infernos and vicious storms. The blue orb and the red orb brought an end to the calamity. Light poured from the two orbs and become the enraged adversaries. The pair made Darsa dove deeper to the sea, where eventually they disappeared. Dope story, bro. Dope story. Cool. Is there a green orb? Why are there three things there? Is this the story of Zygarde? The Forgotten Tale of Zygarde. Anyways, rewind to what I was saying before. Oh, shit. Rewind to what I was saying before about low-tier Pokemon movies. And I'll explain to you why. Because I watched it, and number one, shout out to Ash, kissing a Pokemon. Dope, nigga, dope. I know a lot of y'all watching right now will have a Pokemon on your list that you'd like to schlong down or, or do things with. Hey, it's 2017, and I don't judge. Pokemon's been out for 20 years. Do what you must. But, ooh, shout out to Ghastly. Yo, actually, can I, can I get some experience off of you? Thanks. Ghastly has Sandstorm. Crazy. Yo, just hit level 42 real quick. Alright, blow up, Parasect, stupid fuck. Um, but, Ash did tongue down Latias in that movie. You guys didn't realize that, did you? Ash actually, like, got sloppy with Latias. It's kind of wild. Uh, and the whole Totodile surf scene in the beginning is dope. But the movie has to take a couple L's. Number one, <laughs> Latias, or Latios, gets bodied like it, they, they they put like ropes around it or some shit i guess that keeps its wings from opening so i guess in theory it can't fly but at the same time like latios and latios kind of almost hover because it's not like they have to flap their wings to fly are their wings like jet engines that just like they just pick up like this and i guess they are kind of the shape like jets i guess but, like, they hover. They float, literally. They go like this. So, I don't understand. Like, they put ropes around them, and their little arms lock up like this, and they can't fly. Makes no sense to me. And on top of that, Latios gets bodied by a fucking Tackle Espeon. Whatever their names were. What were the, what were the Team Rocket grunts in that episode? Uh, they were Bonnie and Clyde or some shit. They are supposed to be Bonnie and Clyde, and Jesse and James got mad about it. What were their names? What, what the fuck were their names? I don't remember what their names were. It's, it's escaping me right now, but it was stupid because she literally said, Espeon, finish this. Use tackle attack. Why? Why? You have an Espeon. Did you just evolve it? Did it no tackle because it was an Eevee before you took on this mission? It's pig of the devil. Espeon right here. Why? Why? If I had to rate that movie, I would give it like a 3 out of 5, maybe. I feel like a 3 out of 5 is fair. Because, like I said, I enjoyed it, it was entertaining, but it had its moments where you were just like, like, really? Now, you want to talk about a trash Pokemon film. Absolute cheeks, buns, garbage. And I'm going to trigger so many people with this. Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. Absolute garbage. Trash. That movie is good for the first 20 minutes, and then instantly takes a nosedive spiral into the abyss. <gasps> Pokemon Contest Hall! Oh, snap! It's fucking time. Let's go. I think it's time for us to do a contest. I've been looking at all the fucking battle tents as we've gone along, and every time we go through home, we have to do a contest. Question is, who do we take into a con- Oh, shit. Question answered. Shalanda, beautiful as shit. Oh, oh, it's, it's tough, though. Or we could do Donatilla. Or we could do Shanika. Yo. Yo, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Who should we take into the contest hall? Actually, no, I'm gonna take I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. If this episode hits 5,000 likes, and this is more of like a poll than anything, just to see if you guys want to see it. I know a lot of you guys might be new to the channel, you don't know how we handle contest halls. It's me. You can only imagine really how it works. But if you guys would like to see it, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And if this episode hits 5,000 likes, then either the next episode or the episode after that, one of the two, we will go ahead and take on the fucking Lilico City contest hall. Did I say Emerald City at the start of this? Is that what I said at the start of this episode? Emerald City? No, I said Evergreen. Evergreen. 
I'm spaced out again. Evergreen is... What's the name of that place? Evergrand. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Who knows? Who knows what I'm thinking of? Sure's only me. Oh, she's up here. So you don't even have to fight her just yet. Just quite yet. Just quite yet. But I think I will fucking wax her ass right now. Why the fuck not, to be honest? Mood leader's house? Actually, no, 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 no. Since I don't have to fight her just yet. Don't you give me a TM? Gives me a Petra Berry. <laughs> Thank you. I thought someone over here gave me a TM. But I want to get a Lily Cope City encounter. Ooh. He's supposed to give you rest. But TM44 is in actuality! Rolling kick. We have two of those. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, so we can get a Lily Cope City encounter real quick here. Because we avoided this last episode because I didn't know if I could walk past May. It's an Omega Ruby off of Sapphire you can't walk past. Her. She meets you at the bottom of the stairs. Dive ball, how perfect. Right here, we're gonna go in the water. Actually, I'm gonna check this rock. And we're gonna go in the water. This is our Lily Cove City encounter. Survey says... Really, nigga? That nigga just spiraled all over my screen. Way too happy to be here. All right, I'm gonna toss this dive ball. <laughs> I'm gonna toss this dive ball. I don't know if he's a uh, water type or not. I guess it doesn't really matter. Field has been caught. Spiel is on the squad. The clap Pokemon it is completely covered with eyelids that said pussy fur. <laughs> Fleshy fur. As a result, it never feels the cold, even when it's rolling about on ice floes or diving in the sea. Hmm. My nigga is oblivious. So let's give a nickname to this. Spiel is a female nickname. We're gonna regenerate a random nickname. And I I don't know if that was random or not. Hold on. After Jan. No. It's like, I'm gonna refresh the page. Like what's happening is, I'll hit enter and it, like it randomizes it, but it shows the same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna randomize this now. Diana Shin, there we go. Diana Shin, they kept randomizing Loretta, Loretta, Loretta. And I'm like, no, <laughs> that is the name that was on the screen already. So Diana Shin, last name is S-H-I-N. Diana Shin, this feel. How dope, how appropriate. And can we get to the next route here? No, it doesn't count. Can we get into the aqua base here? Aqua hideout. I don't think you could encounter any mons here. Are you a team, team Magma friend? I hear Team Magma's trying to awesome also Pokemon at their hideout, but where might their hideout be? Oh, so that's what you gotta do next. That's what you gotta do next. Spoiler alert. Okay, so we can't go to the next route just yet. Oh, lemonade. I'll take it. I'll take it. But, to finish my thought from before, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. I know Mew and Lucario are two insanely popular Pokemon, so I know just by me saying that, it's triggering so many people right now. But it's okay. It is okay. Like I said, the first 20 minutes, when they showed all that war shit going down, they had the Pokemon armies going head to head, that shit was Dope. It was fucking amazing. It was awesome. I like the whole plot line where like the aura like Lucario is back and this and that and he mistakes Ash is just trying to... No, the rest of the movie was just boring tired played out. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't handle it I wasn't interested. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with Lucario and Mew themselves It's just the movie itself was bad 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 So Dragon ice Interesting hmm minus do we have a Pokemon plus? Oh my god, is it time to add Martina back to the squad? Because we have plus and minus now? Holy shit, what are they odds? Vine Whip, Hail, Vice Grip, and Smelling Salt. So technically we have a stab move. Technically we do. Technically we do. Uh, but anyways, I think right now is a good enough time as any to go right up today's episode. Today's episode is a teeny bit shorter than usual. Like I said, I just woke up. And I know it's going to end up being a late night episode for a lot of you guys as well. So a teeny bit shorter than usual. Uh, but we should have regular length episodes uh, back tomorrow and whatnot. I just need to fix my sleep schedule. It's all upside down on its head, wonky and shit. But we're working on it. If you guys enjoyed today's episode and you want to see a contest haul episode, make sure you show your support and hit that like button down below for us. And I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, though. Thank you all so much for your support. I don't know what's been go what's up with me today. Thank you all so much for your support and thank you for checking the video. We are Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!